in a real estate transaction, what stays with the property and what goes. The term that we use is convey. For example, there's a refrigerator and the refrigerator stays with the property when it's sold, the refrigerator conveys. If the sellers are going to take the refrigerator with them, the refrigerator doesn't convey. Now, anything that's attached to the house needs to stay unless otherwise disclosed and negotiated. So for example, you have five ceiling fans in your garage. The house is marketed, it goes on a contract, the fans are not installed. The fans are considered personal property, so you take them with you. If you were, before to start showing the home, install the fans, the fans are now part of the property and they would convey. Now let's say you have something like a, a large expensive chandelier that you inherited from Aunt Bessie or something like that, you want to take it with you, that's fine. You would just need to disclose that up front, it would need to be in the contract, and more importantly, we advise that you actually remove it before showing the property, before bringing the property to market. That way people see the home without the chandelier, there's no confusion, and you just handle it the proper way. Now, anything that's in question or kind of gray or not sure, you should always put in the contract. Washer, dryer, refrigerator, items of this nature. Go ahead and put it in the contract so that way there's no confusion. Because in real estate, we don't like confusion. We like everything in writing and very clear. Now, there's a little caveat here with what conveys in personal property. Perhaps you're buying a home that's fully furnished and you're getting financing. This needs to be handled properly. The reason being is, let's say you're going to purchase the home for $300,000. And on the contract, your real estate agent lists out uh, two big screen TVs, a sofa, a couch, blah, blah, and it's a whole list of stuff that's on the contract. What's going to happen is this is going to go to the lender. The underwriter is going to see and he's going to say, okay, you're purchasing the house for $300,000. Then you have $10,000 worth of stuff. We're going to loan based upon $290,000, not $300,000, and that will probably kill the transaction. So you need to talk to your real estate agent. There are ways to handle this properly, and they just need to make sure that they do it right.